What's up guys, David here from PhoneBuff.com and in this video we're doing a review slash how to on the voice action feature that comes with Android. So I've already done a comparison between voice actions and Windows Phone's Tell Me and of course the iPhone Siri, but in this video I just want to go more in depth as far as what voice actions brings to the table and uh, some of the different features it offers. So first I'm going to talk about the things that are directly related to voice actions uh, within the phone itself, not Google searches, which I'll do in the second half. So I'll just show you a few examples of the voice action features and then of course the Google searches which really uh, expands the functionality. So the first thing I'll do is show you an example of how you can navigate with uh, voice action. So navigate to Del Taco. You just give the phone that command and you can see it has this little loading icon right here. That's only because it wants to give you a chance to hit cancel if it got it wrong. But I could just tap on the nearest Del Taco and it automatically give me uh, directions to that Del Taco. So actually let me uh, close out of that because it'll bother me later in the video. So hit exit. Alright, so another example. Um, I'll just do uh, a text message to somebody. So send text to Google search. What are you doing today? And as you can see, it's sending a text to Google search, which is in my phone uh, book. And uh, right here, it got my message correctly. I can just hit send if I want, cancel if I don't. Um, last feature that I'll go over is making a call. So uh, we'll just call, uh, let's say my barbershop. Call barbershop. There you go, it's calling my barbershop. So if I hit dial, I can just bypass this waiting time, hit cancel if I don't want it. Otherwise, it'll automatically uh, go to it. So hit home. And uh, now I really want to go over the things that, you know, I feel like really separate voice actions from at least Tell Me, because uh, Tell Me has a lot of these functions, but uh, it brings it closer to Siri, and that's uh, using Google search. So for example, you could do math questions or equations with your voice. So exa for example, 15 times 2 divided by 3 times 4. So you can see it does a Google search uh, as usual, but at the top you have an answer and it, the answer is 40. You can see it wasn't necessarily the most simple problem that I gave it. It was kind of complicated and it still got it. You know, you can do square roots, you can do cosine and all that stuff. So pretty cool. Um, of course, you want to do a tip, you can say 15% of, you know, 30 bucks or whatever your bill is and uh, you could get that. Um, another feature is you could ask it a question uh, such as, when was Martin Luther King born? And again, it does a Google search, but at the very top, in big bold letters, you get the answer. So, really quick way of getting to information without having to type anything. It's very accurate with the voice. And if it's not sure, it'll just give you a few uh, suggestions as, as far as what it thinks you said, and you can just tap on it. Um, another example is, let's say I wanted to show a friend a picture of the Xbox, because they've never heard of it somehow. So I could just say, picture of Xbox 360. And you can see, it does a Google search for it and I've got all these pictures right away without having to, you know, type it in myself, hitting the images tab and whatnot. I just have it right right here at the uh, front screen. So very quick way of doing things. Um, I'll just do a couple of more examples. So the first one I'll do is uh, the weather. Weather. And as you can see, I just said weather because uh, I do have my location enabled on my phone. It's automatically able to detect I'm in Laguna Hills and it gives me the weather. If I wanted to do uh, movie show times, Movie show times. I can do the same thing without actually having to say what city or state I'm in because it's, it knows my location and it knows right here um, these are the theaters that are close to me. I can just tap on the showtime I want and you know go from there. So pretty cool. Um, if you don't have the uh, location enabled, just say you know showtimes and then your city. So for me, it'd be showtimes Laguna Hills. Another example is uh, you could actually do translations right from here. So for example, say I wanted to know how to say hello in Spanish, I could just say, translate to Spanish, hello. And at the very top, it says, hello is hola. So again, another cool function that actually replaces my translating app. And speaking of apps uh, that voice actions could actually replace, we'll do the dictionary too. So define dog. And you can see at the very top, it has my definition. And it's not just the definition, it's actually interactive where I can tap on this little uh, icon right here and actually get the enunciation. So, dog. 
So you can see, you know, it's full featured. It pretty much replaces my need for having a dictionary app on my phone. And uh, it's definitely a lot quicker than, you know, opening up my dictionary app. But those are, uh, you know, the few examples that I, I'll go over. I mean, if you want more, just hit the uh, links in the description box below. Go to phonebuff.com. I talk about it in more depth there. But, you know, this video is getting kind of long, so I don't want to go on. Anyways, if you found it helpful, hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to visit phonebuff.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos. Thank you.